0 0.3, subtracting integers. To subtract an integer, add its additive inverse. Here, to subtract the integers, we're going to change this to an addition problem. We are going to do 9 plus negative 17. Again, if we look at our rules, we are back to adding. We're adding a positive and a negative. We're adding different signs. We subtract and take the sign from the larger number. 17 minus 9 is 8. And then I take the sign from 17, which is going to be negative 8. We have a subtracting problem. We have negative 7 subtracting 3. You're going to take and make this an addition problem. Negative 7 subtracting 3. The additive inverse of 3 is negative 3. Or you can think about putting this in parentheses and just putting a plus sign. We are adding negative 7 and negative 3. We're adding the same sign. We're adding a negative plus a negative. The same sign, what do we do? We add it up and keep the same sign. 7 plus 3 is 10, and we keep the sign. Negative 7 plus negative 3 equals negative 10. Find each difference. Example 2. On this problem, we see that we have two negatives right here, double negatives. To subtract negative 5, we are going to be actually adding 5. A negative times a negative is a positive. That becomes 4 plus 5, which equals 9. Negative 6, subtracting negative 2. To subtract negative 2, we are actually going to be adding 2. Here is where we have a negative times a negative, double negatives. This negative out front has nothing to do with it. Right here is where we have a negative times a negative. That becomes plus 2. We have negative 6 plus 2. We're back to adding. What do we do? We're adding a negative and a positive. We're adding different signs. Adding different signs. What do we do? We subtract. Take the sign from the larger number. 6 minus 2 is 4, and then we take the sign from the larger number 6. We get negative 4. We can picture a number line on this problem. If we look at a number line, it says that we're starting at negative 6. So I'm going from 0 and I'm going in the negative direction to negative 6. And then I need to go in the opposite direction, positive 2. The positive direction is to the right. So I need to go back 2. I'm going in two different directions. When I'm going in two different directions, when I'm going left and then right, or right and then left, I'm going in two different directions. We need to subtract. Here, This problem says that I'm starting at 4. And then I'm going positive 5 more. I'm going in the same direction. When you're going in the same direction, you need to add them up and keep the same sign. When I'm going in two different directions, I'm going in the negative direction and then I'm going in the positive direction, you need to subtract the problem. Example 3, evaluate the expression. x minus 16 if x equals 6. 
I have a variable and here it tells me how much that variable is. The variable is not unknown. X equals six. I'm going to substitute that into the expression. I will have six for X subtracting 16. And now I'm going to find my final answer. I have a subtracting problem that I can change to an addition problem. That would become 6 plus, take the negative 16 and put it in the parentheses. And now I can see that I am adding a positive and a negative. I am adding different signs. I have a positive. And a negative. What do I do when I'm adding different signs? I subtract and take the sign from the larger number. 16 minus 6 is 10, and then I take the sign from the larger absolute value number, which would be from 16, and 16 is negative. That's how you evaluate the expression. Let's try that again on problem B. This time it says A minus B minus C. I've got three variables. It tells me that A equals seven, B equals two, and C equals negative three. So I have seven minus B, which is two, minus, what is C? Watch out for that negative, negative three. C is negative three, but I already have a negative in front. I'm substituting in for C, which is a negative 3. I've created double negatives here. When I substituted in C, was negative 3. All right. Let's start by changing this to an addition problem. Start with this. We have 7 plus negative 2 minus negative 3. How do I change this subtracting problem into an addition problem? This would be the second type. The first type is to take and put a plus sign, put your number in parentheses. The second type is when we have those double negatives. We see that a negative times a negative is a positive. So I can make those plus signs. All right, we are adding. 7 and negative 2. Those are different signs, so I'm going to subtract, take the sign from the larger number. 7 minus 2 is 5. I'm going to take the sign from 7, which is positive. And now I have plus 3. I am adding a positive and a positive. I'm adding the same sign. So I'm going to add it up, keep the same sign. 5 plus 3 is 8 and that's going to be a positive 8. Let's take a look at our condensed integer rules. We are on subtraction today. We have two types. The first type is where we're going to add the opposite. I'm subtracting 8 and 12. And I would change that to an addition problem by doing the opposite of 12, which is negative 12. Or you can just think about it as putting this and putting negative 12 in parentheses and putting a plus sign in there. Now I have an addition problem. I'm adding a positive and a negative. What does the rule say to do when we have different signs? We're going to subtract, take the sign from the larger number. 12 minus 8 is 4, and we're going to take the sign from 12, which is negative. Negative 4 minus 3, negative 4 plus, put the negative 3 in parentheses, and now we're adding two negatives. We have the same sign. We are adding the same sign. What do we do? We add it up, keep the same sign. 4 plus 3 is 7, and I keep the same sign. Type 2 is when you are going to change the subtraction problem to an addition problem. We have double negatives here. 
and we know that a negative times a negative equals a positive. And that becomes 3 plus 14. I'm adding the same sign. I'm going to add it up, keep the same sign. 3 plus 14 is 17. Positive 17. One more example. We have a negative times a negative. This one out front has nothing to do with those double negatives. Here, a negative times a negative becomes plus. I am adding a negative and a positive. I am adding different signs. I'm going to subtract and take the sign from the larger number. 10 minus 5 is 5. I'm taking the sign from 10, which is a positive 5.